after a couple weeks away to take care of the AQHA Racing Challenge update. We're back to recap Quarter Horse Racing's biggest events, which this week include the Grade 1 Los Alamitos Super Derby. It's all coming up on the Weekend Wrap-Up. Rescue Network's Weekend Wrap-Up is sponsored by the Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association, Lone Star Park at Grand Prairie, and by the American Quarter Horse Association. Hi, I'm Jim Byers. Welcome to the Weekend Wrap-Up. We'll get to that Super Derby shortly, but let's begin this week's review in Texas. One of the people most responsible for Paramutual returning to the Lone Star State some 30 years ago was legendary horseman, rancher, and AQHA director B.F. Phillips Jr. Sadly, he didn't live to see racing return to his home state, but he's honored with the B.F. Phillips Jr. stakes each fall at Lone Star Park. Saturday's Grade 3 renewal pitted a good field of Texas-bred three-year-olds and up at 400 yards for a $25,000 purse. The wagering split among four horses in here, but number nine, KW Cowboy, a strong second twice this meeting, is the nine to five favorite. They're off. Breaking outward was Blue Duck La Jolla. Blue Duck La Jolla got out there quickly. Here comes one dimple, then not available in stores. KW Cowboy not away as fast as usual. Then from between horses, RC Me leaving you. RC Me leaving you is powering on in the BF Phillips Junior Stakes to win it. Trainer Judd Curl is leading the nation in wins and money won, and he adds the B.F. Phillips Jr. stakes to his resume with a strong closing effort by R.C. Me Leaving You. This four-year-old Colt is the son of Corona's Leaving You and the streak in six mare, Sixie Bottom. Curl actually purchased this horse for $20,000 in 2013 at the Texas Quarter Horse Association yearling sale. The Colt was bred by R.C. Running Horses and is owned by Benny and Terry Jeter. Noe Viatoro, the winning jock. Early leader, One Dimple is second, with not available in stores third, and KW Cowboy fourth. The time, 19.801 seconds. Saturday featured another graded race, this one at Zia Park in Hobbs, New Mexico, as three-year-olds and up contested the grade two Lovington Stakes. The purse is $50,000. This 400-yard test on a track labeled good. Saw 17 to 1 outsider Roman Soldier CD break alertly and fend off Alley's jumping and favored TF Cajun Cartel. Sergio Becerra, the jock, a New Mexico bred three year old by a political Jess out of famous Phoebe. Roman Soldier CD is a great grandson of the mid 80s superstar Dashing Phoebe. Bred by James Marquez, the winner is owned by Cynthia Dick and trained by Antoinette Gonzalez. The time 19.724 Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association encourages the breeding and ownership of Oklahoma bred horses, promotes and protects racing opportunities in the state, and represents our members' interest at the state capitol. Learn more at oqhra.com. On trials night, October 15th, Jimmy Brooks rode three of the ten qualifiers for the Grade 1 Los Alamitos Super Derby, all for Reliance Ranches and trainer Mike Robbins. So Brooks had a decision to make for Sunday's 400-yard final a race that provides its winner a spot in the champion of champions. He chose wisely as Utah bred Big Lou picked a good time to win his first graded race. And away they go on the Los Alamitos Super Derby and Doc Beskard got off to a good start. Here's Bright Regal in time for Jess. Dental on the inside trying to rally on his time. A fearless hero, but Big Lou is the one that catches the eyes. Big Lou hits the front of the extreme outside. Comes time for Jess and trying to close it now is Bright Regal, but it's Big Lou, Jimmy Dean Brooks, the Reliance Ranches to take the Los Alamitos Super Derby. A frequent trial winner and sometimes qualifier for major events, Big Lou earns his biggest payday in the Los Al Super Derby grabbing the winner's share of a three quarters of a million dollar purse. Six to five favorite, and top qualifier Wright Regal is second, with time for Jess third. Veteran trainer Mike Robbins wins this race for the third time, and his other winners were illustrious world champions Dash's Green and Sergeant Pepper Feature. Second fastest in the trials from among the three Reliance horses, Big Lou is a $150,000 yearling purchase from breeder Macaulay Land and Livestock. He's a colt by Corona Cartel, and the former Texas Grade 1 star executive looks. 
Jimmy Brooks guides him to a half-length win in 19.723 seconds. More stakes winners are coming your way right after this quick timeout. You're not just my horse. You're my family. I may hold the reins, but you hold my heart. Raceview Network's Weekend Wrap-Up is sponsored by the Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association, Lone Star Park at Grand Prairie, and by the American Quarter Horse Association. Coming up this weekend, Lone Star Park wraps up its American Quarter Horse meeting with a pair of grade ones, the Texas Classic Derby and Million Dollar Texas Classic Futurity. We'll also have coverage of a pair of graded races at Will Rogers Downs, the Black Gold 440 Championship, and OHA Mystery Futurity. All that and more next week. That's all for now. For the entire staff and crew, I'm Jim Byers. Thanks for watching, and we hope you'll catch us next time on the Weekend Wrap-Up.